hello guys welcome to DTW tutorial that's destined to win tutorials uh, today I'm gonna be taking more questions on the Unilag post UME 2010 I've um, done the first part this is the second part and I've, I've also treated the Unilag post UME 2007 2008 the complete one so it's on my channel you can watch and uh, I've treated OAU and also UI I think OAU they've done their exams you i am about to hear their dates for their exams yet but you can watch that first video for the ui so this is a continuation on the unilab post year in which their exams are this week so uh so i'll go straight to the point here so here we have a question number 11 it says if x minus 1 and x plus 1 are both factors of the equation this evaluate p and q now all it is just telling you put in both factors of the equation so x minus 1 is equal to 0 and x plus 1 is equal to 0 the unilag uh, post UME syllabus is majorly jammed so just make sure you revise on your jam uh, syllabus in maths and i've also done some past questions on jam like about 20 topics so you can also watch my uh, the videos on my channel too to do that particular revision on, on those topics. There are jam past questions I also solve and I also explain the introduction to the topic. And don't also, don't forget to subscribe. I forgot to, forgot to mention that. So don't forget to subscribe. So let's go to the question back. So this will be X equal to one and X is equal to what? Minus one. So all we need to do is put on, put in this value into this what equation. So for X equal to one, let's put in the value into this equation. We have X three, plus p x square plus q x plus six equal to zero so x this will be three raised to one raised to power three plus p that's one raised to power two plus q times one plus six equal to zero so here we have a one right so one plus this will give us what a seven right so we and this is still times one so it should be p so we have p plus q if we take that plus seven here it should become what minus seven so this is our equation one so let's put in the value x minus one into the same equation uh let me still write it down here so we can understand okay plus q plus six equal to what zero so put in we have minus one or is power three plus p bracket minus one square plus q bracket minus one plus what six equal to zero What's minus one square will give us a minus one and uh, cube i mean then minus one square will give us a one one times p is what a p plus no this won't be a plus this is minus one times this will give us a minus q plus six equal to zero minus one plus six will give us what a plus five okay so let's take that plus five to the other side we have what p minus q equal to minus five equation two so i treat i think this is a simultaneous equation so and I've, uh, I've treated simultaneous equation too so you can check out that video okay so p minus q equal to minus five equation two so all we need to do is either here we can just cancel out this uh, elimination method so this can be canceled as see this plus minus okay so here so here we have a minus seven minus five which will give us what a minus twelve this plus this will give us what 2p so to get p we divide both sides by 2 so here cancel we have p equal to what minus 6 2 here 1 2 here 6 and drop our minus and that's minus 6 now since we know p as minus 6 let's just put this value of p into equation we can put in either of equation let's say we put it in equation 1 which is p plus q equal to minus 7 so the value of P is what minus 6 plus Q equal to minus 7 to get uh, P we'll take minus 6 to this side that is what P equal to minus 7 when we take minus here we have a plus 6 and what would this give us minus 7 plus 6 I've treated a, a, a video on signs when you multiply when you add signs so try to watch that video so you understand get a proper understanding of how you operate with signs okay minus 7 plus 6 will give us what a minus one so definitely our answer is what p is equal to minus six and q is equal to what minus one and our right option here is option b all right our next question says find a positive value of p 
if the expression this leaves a remainder 6 when divided by um, x minus p all we need to do is it leaves a remainder 6 so our solution will be so it will be 2x squared minus p x plus p is equal to what 6 it leaves a remainder of 6 and here what we have to do is when x minus p we have to look for the value of p so is it so this will give us what x is equal to what p when you bring minus p to the other side so x is equal to p so all you need to do is put in the value replace the values of x as what p so here wherever x is put p so we have 2 p square not p square the um, minus x, uh, p times p plus what p equal to 6 okay so here what do we have we have 2p square minus p square plus p equal let's bring 6 to this side we have what minus 6 equal to what 0 so here what do we have here this minus this will give us what a p square plus p minus 6 equal to 0 so here we need to do factorization i've done a video on factorization so you can watch that to learn more so here we put a drop a p here drop a p what are the multiples of 6 that will add or subtract to give us what a 1 since this is p right the coefficient here is a 1 eh? so it would be a plus 3 minus 2 and when you multiply that you're going to get a minus 6 okay so we have a plus 3 minus 2 we give us what a 1 so here all we need to do is equate this to 0 p minus 2 is equal to zero so here p is equal to minus three and here p is equal to what two so our correct option here since uh, we're not having the question says find the positive value so and our positive value here is what p so I, our positive value over here is what two and this is minus three so our right option here is option b our next question says find t in terms of uh, k q and s if s is equal to this this is just changing subject of the formula okay i've also done a video on that i think yes yes i have so here we have this now all we're looking for is where is t okay and make t to stand alone remove t from wherever if it's joined to any number remove t from there so here t is here so the first thing to do to free t is to what remove this word square root in removing this square root will square everything outside the square root so this will be what s square plus this equal to uh, two square will be for what four and arrow arrow square will be what arrow arrow times arrow will be r square and we're left with what pi bracket q t plus k okay so here was the next thing let's um divide both sides by this value that's four r square all we are trying to do is make t stand alone okay so four r square pi this will cancel this what are we left we're left with what s square, uh, square over what four pi four r square pi equal to what q t plus k the next thing is we'll move our k to this side okay so we have s square over four pi let me just put this pi here pi square then we have minus k equal to what q t the next thing is q is still attached to t the way to to cancel out um, q is to divide both sides by q so we divide this by q divide everything by what q so this will also divide by q so our final answer will be what t is equal to s square over 4 pi r square q minus k over q and what's our right option here our right option is option b okay our next question says the graph of f x square is equal to what s square minus 5x plus 6 crosses the x axis at the points okay that's why looking for the point this particular equation crosses the x axis and when this when something is crossing the x axis definitely our y will be equal to what zero okay so it means we just need to factorize this so we have x squared minus 5x plus 6 equal to zero if we're factorizing it what are the values of x 
So what are the factors of 6 that will either add or subtract to give us minus 5? And that would be what a minus 3 and minus 2 equal to what 0. So definitely x will be equal to, if you equate this to 0, you bring 3 to this side, we have x equal to 3 and x is equal to what 2. So definitely our axis since this is x, y, x, y. Since x is equal to 0, so we have here 3, comma 0. That's our point, will be 2, comma, what, 0. And what's our right option here? Our right answer is option D. Alright? Our next question says, factorize completely the expression this. Okay, all we need to do is just to arrange this expression and factorize it. So let me write this down here again plus 6y minus 3ax minus 2byx. So, um, I think this and this, we have something common, ax and ax. Okay, so we bring this ax squared minus 3ax, and this and this, we have something common, that is y. So, we have minus 2byx plus 6y. Take the bigger value to this side. It's always easier for you to... To factorize it so here what is common we have a and x so we we'll bring out what a x comma b x is left then minus what three comma then here we drop our minus here and open our what open what what is common first to this one uh two is common and also y so we we'll bring out our two y right then brackets b x is left and uh uh a sign which is a uh, three okay so we're going to put a minus what three okay so that when we open the bracket this sign will turn to what a positive sign okay so two in six is what three so definitely we are left with a x minus two y bracket b x minus three okay so this is our answer and what's our right option here our right option is option a Okay, so this question says solve the following inequality. From this, all you need to do is, uh, I'm not really a, a topic on inequality, but here, this is just saying x is equal to, it will be a plus sign when you move this, uh, when you move it to the other side, this minus will change to a positive, the signs will also remain the same. So our answer is what this, this is a bonus question, okay? Answer is option A, which is what 3 less than or equal to x and uh, x is what less than or equal to what 4. so our next question question 17 it says what the fourth term of an ap is 13 why the third term is 31 find the 21st term okay so this is uh this is going to resolve to a, a simultaneous equation too so here it said the fourth term that is t4 is it which t4 is equal to what a plus 3d is equal to 13 equation one i've treated a topic on ap so you can watch that video then t10 is what a plus 9d equal to what 31 we have equation two so here if we are cancelling out a we introduce a negative sign this will cancel this will turn to a negative this will turn to a negative so 3d minus 9d will give us what a minus 6d and 13 minus 31d will give us what a equal to minus what 18 so divide both sides by minus 6 we have d is equal to what 3 this will cancel and 6 in 18 is what 3 okay so we're putting the value of d equal to 3 into equation 1 and this is equation 1 so we have a we're looking we're trying to look for a so to plus what 3 times 3 equal to what 13 that's a plus 9 equal to 13 and a will be equal to what 13 minus 9 and what is 13 minus 9 a is equal to what 4 so we've, we've been given we found our a and d so the question says find the 21st term all right so 21st term which is t21 is equal to a plus 20d all right a is what 4 again plus what is our d d is 3 so that is 20 times 3 so we have 4 plus what's 20 times 3 that's what 60 so this plus this is what 64 so our answer is 64 and what is our right option here our right option is option c okay so this question they say we should what simplify this okay so all we need to do is what factorize completely this denominator so we have x squared minus one let's rearrange this so we have what x cubed bring this minus x 
then minus 2x squared minus 2. Okay, so we have x squared minus 1 over, what's common to this and this, we have x out, okay? So x then, what's left here, x squared minus 1, bracket minus, we'll bring out 2, so we have 2 bracket x squared minus 1, okay? So what do we have here? We have x squared minus 1 over x minus 2, bracket what? x squared minus 1, okay? Where this will cancel this and we're left with what? 1 over what? x minus 2. And our right option here is option D our next and final question for today's video tutorial class it says express this in what partial fractions so in doing this uh you remember partial fractions uh, i've not treated that topic but you could revise on it it's part of your jam syllabus too so express in partial fraction we're going to have what a over x minus 2 plus what b over x minus 3 this is this can actually help you in um, revising partial fractions so all you need to do is multiply both sides by this word denominator and when you multiply both sides what are we going to get this it will cancel out when we multiply x minus 2 bracket x minus 3 okay this will cancel out when we multiply this x minus 2 bracket x minus 3 right this will cancel out okay and we are left with what x time multiplied by x minus 3 okay one well, will multiply this also by x minus 2 bracket x minus 3 this will cancel and we are left with what x minus 2 so what are we left with we are left with what 5x minus 12 equal to a bracket x minus 3 bracket what plus b bracket x minus 2 so in partial fractions all you need to do is to get a how are you going what will you do you will make sure b turns towards zero and to make b turn to zero we'll make this what a 2 since 2 minus 2 is 0 so 0 times b is 0 so this will cancel out okay so to get a comma x is equal to what 2 so put in 2 we have 5 bracket 2 minus 12 equal to what a bracket 2 minus 3 plus b bracket 2 minus 2 which will give us a 0 so what are we left we are left with 10 minus 12 equal to what this is uh, 2 minus 3 which was minus 1 okay minus 1 times a we have what a minus what a so what are we ha having here 10 minus 12 give us a minus 2 equal to what a minus a where this will cancel and a is equal to what 2 okay so to get our b to get b yeah so to get our b we have what we're going to make what x equal to what 3 since 3 minus 3 will give us a 0 and this will cancel out a so we say x is equal to what 3 uh sometimes you might hear the airplane uh, noise in, the, in the, my videos this is because i live quite close to the airport so you get to hear a, an airplane noise flying over my my home my apartment so here um, so sorry for that i just want to apologize for that so to get a uh, b x is equal to what 3 so putting this value into here so we have what 5 bracket what a, 3 okay minus 12 equal to what a bracket 3 minus 3 plus b bracket 3 minus 2 where this will cancel out okay and we're left with what 3 3 times 50, uh, 5 that would give us 15 minus 12 equal to this is 3 minus 1 okay which is 1 and 1 times b is what b so what is 15 minus 12 that is 3 so b is equal to what 3 so definitely we'll put in a value of uh, b and a into a partial fraction okay so therefore what is a is what 2 over x minus 2 plus what's b 3 over x minus 3 so this is our answer resolving in partial fraction so what's our right option here our right option is option b okay so thank you for staying tuned to today's video tutorial class uh, i'll try my best to complete this particular year before your exams and i know the exam system from four to six so i'll try to complete it before the end of your exams by god's grace okay so thank you for staying tuned to today's video tutorial class please like share and subscribe to this channel try to share to your friends to help them in their exams okay so uh finally you are destined to win and i wish you success in your exams bye